Hey there, just a quick review of the blog this week. I still implore you to go and check out the blog itself. It's got links, it's got information, it's got examples. It really goes into depth. This is just a summary in case you wanted to see what it was about before you started reading. And again, this week, what we talked about in the blog is reframing. I needed it pretty badly, had a rough week. So reframing is essentially taking the time to reflect and think about the situation and how you can approach it for personal growth instead of sulking and seeing how bad things are. This is not like an unrealistic sunny day that if you just wait, everything's going to be happy and everything's going to be great. Not the case at all. That's not what reframing is. Reframing is taking this bad situation, whatever happens, and I give examples in the blog, and saying, all right, this happened. What do I need to learn from it? And how can I grow from it? And what kind of things are we going to get better at? That's how reframing works. So that way you're putting yourself in the center of control. You're the problem and you're the solution at the same time. And doing that gives you the freedom you need to not just sulk and create bad habits and poor reactions to things like, oh, woe is me, the universe hates me. True, the universe does occasionally hate you. <laughs> There's just stuff that happens sometimes that no matter what, they couldn't have possibly. Uh, somebody re rans you. Um, something happens crazy that's out of control. But you still have that opportunity to stop reflect, reframe, and see how you can do things better and how you can grow. Look through the blog. It's got the examples. It's got the, a couple of links from Psychology Today and some other places. And as always, let us know if you need any topics. Feel free to comment. What are the things you want to talk about? I'd, I'd love to have and see your opinion. So thanks. See you again next week.